Musio is the best orchestral sample library on the market, and the creator Cinesamples is giving viewers of this channel a 25% off discount. More about that later, but first, here's how it sounds. Hello, gorgeous. Musio is a collection of 1800 plus instruments and counting by Cinesamples, the leaders in the orchestral sampling world. Cinesamples has been making orchestral libraries for the past 16 years, and Musio unifies every product they've ever made in one plugin. There are three ways to get Musio. You could buy it outright for $400. You could also get an annual subscription for $100 a year. Or the real game changer, in my opinion, is you could get access to all 1800 plus instruments for $10 a month. What's even better than that, though, is Cinesamples has been kind enough to offer viewers of this channel a 25% off discount if you go to the link in the description or the pinned comment for the first three months or the entire annual subscription. And that's even if you use the 30-day free trial first. You can try Musio for 30 days free, no credit card required. And again, if you use the link in the description or the pinned comment, you will get 25% off your first three months, even after the free trial or the entire annual subscription, which is phenomenal. I want to say a huge thank you to Cinesamples for being so generous to viewers of this channel. Musio is both a standalone application as well as a VST or AU plugin that you can load into your DAW. When you open it up, this is what you'll see. Some of the new instruments that have just come out for Musio. And I used some of these in the demo you heard at the beginning of the video, which by the way, was not only 100% Musio, almost completely untreated. I just used a little bit of EQ and compression on I think four of the 16 tracks. So you're basically hearing it exactly as it sounds coming out of the plugin. So as we scroll down, you can see how intelligent this is laid out. We've got key switch patches. We've got everything you could need if you want to do some basic orchestral sketching right here. We can see what they've recently updated. We can see their vintage synthesizer collection, which is near and dear to my heart. We have a category for instruments that you might use for horror scoring, including their collaboration with the band Apocalyptica. So let's say we wanted to check that out real quick, which we'll is double click on that. And you can see the coolest part of Musio is actually that it is download as much or as little as you want. Not all of us have the massive hard disk space it would require to download all of these samples. So we could just pick what we want. At the top in every library, we have the key switches, which act basically as the full instrument. And then if we want just one particular articulation, we can pull that up. So in this case, what about if we pulled up aggressive legato? You could see the file size here, and then it's as simple as just hitting the load button. You see this little wheel here as it downloads the 545 megabytes needed to play this articulation. And voila, we have the Apocalyptica sample. <laughs> You can see the keys that are usable are highlighted in red here. This functions as a key bed in case you don't have a MIDI controller. With the mod wheel, so we can increase the intensity. Now if we click on the instrument, it pulls up the controls for this instrument and every instrument in Musio has its own custom UI. We can control the release, the dynamics, the release curve, the expression, dynamics, and also the effects, which can be different depending on what instrument you loaded. If we want to hear the sample dry, we can bypass the reverb, or we can turn it on and increase the decay and dampening and get a really huge mellow sound. Just a really big cinematic reverb. I like it a lot at 50-50 on the decay and dampening. 
very nice sort of roomy orchestral tone. Delicious. We can go back to explore and keep going if we want to check out everything that's laid out here. So we could check out some woodwinds, let's say, or we could just go to the catalog. And now this is all of the sample libraries that are in Museo currently. And if you have a subscription, as CineSamples comes out with new libraries, you get all of those automatically for free. So this piano in blue is really special and new. I used it as the basis of the track that you heard at the beginning of the video. This is the legendary Steinway piano played by Bill Evans on Miles Davis's Kind of Blue album. And it is sampled to perfection. Just spine tingling to hear that sound that we all know from that record. And just like on the Apocalyptica samples, we have effects, but you can see this time we actually have a soft distortion. So we can increase the wet amount here if we wanna hear some of that interesting, gnarly vintage tone. And with offset, we can get a little bit more of that thinner tape crush sound. And of course, we could bypass that and just check out the reverb or we'll increase the wetness and the decay again. As soon as I heard that intoxicating sound, I immediately felt inspired to go in the direction that I did with that demo. So as we add more instruments, we can control which MIDI channels are triggering which instruments and which outputs they're going through. Super useful because you can build 16 channels of MIDI into the plugin and it has 16 outs automatically, which is great. This is also a great way to make interesting layers. So let's say I wanted to load this Rhodes Chroma Pluck sound. All I have to do is hit load here, wait for it to download, then jump over into the instrument panel. And you can hear we have both of these playing together now. <laughs> We can control the low pass filter, increase the resonance. We have a simple mixer here, which allows us to control the blend. We have an ADSR with attack curve control, which is great. So we could turn this into more of a pad. And again, we have soft distortion and reverb, so we can turn both of those on. So simple to use, but really powerful. I also found this to be a good way to audition different samples in case I wasn't sure which one I wanted to use for a particular part. So why don't we search piano? You can see there's many pianos in Museo, not just the one used on that Miles Davis album. Uh, so let's go to Cine Piano, and you can see I've already downloaded the cinematic sample, so I just hit load, and there we go. I'm going to just hit the X on the Rhodes Chroma. So now we just have the two pianos, and we could mute one and hear how it sounds. And do the opposite to hear the difference between the two. So a different kind of flavor. I think if you want a really upfront and modern sound, the cinematic cine piano is incredible. really dynamic. It's incredible how much range they actually were able to capture with these samples. So yeah, it really is that simple to download and use any sound you can possibly think of that you would use for any kind of orchestral composition. As I said earlier, there's over 1800 sounds in Museo. So there's no way I could even scratch the surface in this video covering all of them. So instead, I just want to show you the sounds I used for the demo in the intro. We'll start with Sinister strings pros crescendo in octaves which sounds so great incredibly massive next up we have this incredible legato acoustic cello patch by tina guo evocative and emotional and inspiring I've always loved Drums of War. I've used it in my music before. And if it sounds familiar, that's because the drums were engineered by none other than Tim Starnes, the music editor for the Lord of the Rings trilogy. And you could tell. Next up, we have the vibraphone. 
And what was interesting here, you can see that I've got three of them loaded in and I was using the same MIDI channel and outputs to audition the differences like I was saying earlier. I didn't know which one I wanted to use. In this case, I ended up using just the soft mallet hits. But there's also some really cool rolls in here. If you want that kind of effect or the soft version of that. which is just a gorgeous bedrock that you could use for any sort of ambient texture. I wanted a higher pitched drum sound that would complement the Hans Zimmer F Taikyo Barbarian Siege drums. So I went with Cineperk Epic here. And you can hear that we have different variations here depending on which notes we hit. And they are velocity sensitive. Let's just take a second here and look at the catalog and see everything that you could load with this. And another really great feature of Musio is this play button over a sound. So if we want to hear how this djembe sounds, it'll give you a little sample of that. And let's say we wanted to go to the Cinebrass core. We could audition the six horn ensemble Staccatissimo. And you can see that in Cinebrass Pro alone, how many incredible different articulations we have and solos, whatever a trombone solo growl is. So not just your standard staccato and sustain patches, but a whole lot more. We've even got chords and effects. Continuing on, this is the Sinistrings Pro Bass Appassionata Patch. I love the throaty, breathy sound on the top of those low basses. I knew I would need some big Hans Zimmer staccato cellos. As well as a beautiful bed of sustain ensemble strings. I am not the best at the typical massaging you have to do with orchestral samples to get them to sound realistic. It's usually a lot of tweaking of the MIDI file to get it to sound right. But with Cine samples, everything sounds really perfect right out of the box, but not in that fake way that other orchestral libraries that we've all heard before can sometimes sound where it's a little too clean or a little too perfect. They strike this really awesome balance of warmth and clarity without it getting too pushed, compressed, overproduced sounding. Vaches 8 is a British Grammy nominated acapella group, and I use their samples in this as well. I pulled up this legato patch over here. It was really gorgeous sounding and I wanted to beef that up a little bit. So I layered it with the ensemble key switch from Voxos. Voxos, by the way, is normally $500 if you were to buy just this cinematic choir library by itself. So the fact that you could buy it inside of Musio for $10 a month is insane. The last orchestral sample library I bought was also over $400. So the fact that you can get that perpetual license for $400 or access immediately to all of the sounds in Musio for $10, just have to reiterate how crazy that is. There's no point even writing orchestral music if you're not going to have some staccato violins in there. I knew I needed a big boom right at the end of the demo to really give you that finality. And Cineperk's monster hybrid low hits are incredible. There's so many of them. So deep, so monstrous. And again, there's so much content in Museo. There's no way I could cover it all. I'm barely scratching the surface, but I just want to give you a very quick overview here. One of my favorite instruments I used was this bass tagal harpa from the Iceland collection. This is a traditional indigenous instrument in Iceland, and it sounds so awesome. <laughs> That little scratchy component to it when that bow is crossing the strings, it's just mm, chef's kiss. There's all sorts of sound design stuff as well in Musio. It's not all just orchestral. It's also the stuff that you might need for hybrid scores and so forth. I use this pencil bouncing soundscape for a little bit of texture in the intro. And 
you can see I'm using a pretty good amount of soft distortion there. So if I turn that off and the reverb. Get more of a pure tone there that could be useful for your own sound design experiments. And finally, the last thing I used in the track, also from Cinepark Epic, were these monster swooshes. These are just really great transitional elements for any sort of score. Can never have enough of those sounds. Real quick, I just want to highlight a few more of the new instruments. We got Women of the North. We've got some really cool stuff like these runic words. Corner, Hayden, Steve. And some spooky whispers. <laughs> for some of that more horror movie oriented stuff. We've got samples from a digital keyboards Synergy, an extremely rare vintage synthesizer. They estimate less than a hundred of them are still working today. It's an additive synth, so it's got a different sort of sound than a lot of the vintage analogs behind me. And you can see some of the samples are inspired by Wendy Carlos as she used this synthesizer on her album, Digital Moonscapes. Really cool and a treat for us vintage synth snobs. We have Taylor Davis on the violin. And it just goes on and on and on. I could never really cover all of this. I'd have to do a video just on each one of these libraries to really do it justice. This is insane, man. Like just, it just keeps going. There is so much here just in the percussion section. And this isn't all the percussion. This is just some featured stuff in the explore category, all sorts of different keyboard sounds. Let's check out this prepared piano. So cool and unique. Let's see with dimes. Wow, just totally different than what you would expect, right? I randomly picked a Hardinger fiddle because I have no idea what that sounds like. Just because I wanted to try it and it was as simple as hitting the download button and here we go. A really cool feature in Musio is we can actually save the entire rack here. So if we had a setup that we really liked, let's say we came up with a basic orchestral sketching rack with all of the instruments we use regularly, we could just save that and load that anytime we want. And because everything in Musio is cloud-based, that means it's very easy to load projects on a separate computer and just get the samples you need for that project. Well, let's say you're traveling, you could bring your laptop with you and just bring a basic set of samples because you don't have all of that hard disk space for every sample you use regularly. It's super fast and simple. You don't have to worry anymore about, oh God, I got a new computer. Now I need to spend 18 hours installing all of the sample libraries I have. Not anymore. You just load the plugin and download what you need. All right, let's talk some pros and cons. Let's get the obvious one out of the way first, the incredible price. Please, please, please take advantage of this incredible offer from CineSamples for viewers of this channel. 30 days free, no credit card required, 25% off if you hit the link in the description or in the pinned comment. For the first three months or the entire year subscription, it is such a bargain and you really don't wanna miss out on this. And you've got nothing to lose. At that price point, it's just incredible value. Listen, I'm like a lot of you where I don't fully trust the subscription model most of the time. For me, it's a way that you often end up just keep paying for things but never really own anything. But sample libraries are so freaking expensive. <laughs> I have dropped hundreds and hundreds of dollars on orchestral sample libraries, and I think $10 a month to get everything CineSamples has ever done or ever will do is just mind-bendingly awesome. Even without the discount for viewers of this channel, the next closest subscription model like this is from East West, which is $20 a month. And honestly, I've always preferred the sound of CineSamples. They're just the best in the industry as far as I'm concerned. The other incredible pro of this product is the accessibility and ease of use of the interface. Something like this could fall apart so easily if it didn't work 100% of the time. Like if you went to load something and for some reason it didn't, or 
where you did load it, but not all of the keys worked or the effects were off or there was just something that didn't add up. But that's not the case. With Musio, everything is literally as simple and easy as it sounds. You just browse for any sound you could possibly imagine, hit that little red arrow, wait a couple of seconds or a couple of minutes if it's one of the giant key switch patches, and boom, you're good to go. Once they're on your hard disk, they're instant. It's super fast. It's not cluttered at all. There's nothing there that's getting in your way. I love that the mixer is so simple. I know most of you guys are gonna be using your own plugins anyways, as far as processing goes. So it's bare bones, but in the best way possible, where it's just straight into the point, couldn't be simpler to use. It's not just the cheapest way to get into high quality orchestral scoring I've ever seen. It's the simplest and easiest to use orchestral plugin I've ever seen. All right, let's talk about the cons. The main one that sticks out to me is that there's currently no control over the microphone selection used for the samples. So what that is, is in a lot of other contact sample libraries, you'll have control over the close microphones, the room microphones, and the wide microphones. And CineSamples is actually working on integrating that feature into Musio, and hopefully it'll be out in 2024. I honestly don't miss it because the samples seem really well tuned anyways, but it is pretty standard in a lot of other sample libraries to have control over those microphones. So you can get that really up close in front texture or a really wide ambient sound if you want. So as of the recording of this video, that's not a feature in Musio that you do see in most other contact sample libraries, including CineSample's own products like CineStrings Pro, CineBrass Pro. Those products will have control over those individual microphones. So if that's a feature that matters to you, it's not in Musio yet, but it will be soon. So with orchestral samples, there's often a little bit of natural attack or delay that you get. What that is, is if you think about a brass ensemble, for instance, when they go to hit a note, it doesn't just hit full volume. There's a little bit of an attack to it, a little breath, a beginning to that sound before you're at full volume. So I often find myself doing this little dance in my DAW where I'm trying to align MIDI tracks to a click track, because if you have it like perfectly quantized to the notes, everything will be a little bit behind because you've got that beginning of the sample there. Without that, it doesn't really sound realistic. It sounds very fake, sort of like a keyboard sound. Audio Imperia, another sample library company, has this awesome feature where you can put the plugin in a latency-free mode where every sample is at its full volume immediately, which is great for when you're actually playing in notes so you can play in time. And then you just press another button. It adds like 500 milliseconds of latency. And now you get that natural, really authentic, organic sound to those samples. And everything is just in perfect time all the time. That's a feature I'd love to see in Musio, and in fact, in every single sample library plugin, because that is just brilliant to be able to do that. But honestly, those things seem like such nitpicks to me when you consider the vastness of Musio at this price point. I mean, it's just astonishing what CineSamples has done with this plugin. That they were able to democratize orchestral scoring for anybody who can afford Netflix or Spotify. That price point of the subscription model. That to me is such an incredible game changer that they were able to take it to that level. Because now there's no excuse for anybody. Whether you're a producer that makes hip hop and EDM, pop music, anything like that, and sometimes you want to have some violins or some strings, a nice little trombone solo, or you want to go full on making cinematic trailer music and that's what you do for a living, it doesn't matter. It's the perfect product for both of those people. And I can't think of any other product that's like that. There's usually beginner level stuff and then professional level stuff and they have corresponding price tags. But Musio really is one product to rule them all. So yeah, please take advantage of the 25% off discount code down in the description or the pinned comment. I just think it's such a beautiful thing CineSamples is doing, opening up the world of orchestral scoring to everybody. I've always had this feeling with all of the purchases I've made with orchestral sample libraries that they're not like 100% complete. Like, oh, I kind of wish I had this one articulation or this one's pretty good or the interface is good, but I don't like the sounds 100% of the time. Musio, that's done. It's this is it. I'm happy with this for the rest of my life. And I encourage you to check it out. Thank you so much to CineSamples for sending over Musio for me to check out, as well as giving you guys that generous discount code. If you enjoyed this video, I think you're gonna like this one too. So please check it out. Continue to be excellent guys, and I will see you there. Yeah.